The party you just left was the best ever. There was a DJ and there was music. There were lights and there was dancing. There was conversation with friends. and plenty of boys looking to have some fun. There was plenty of people to talk to and plenty of games to play. And there was alcohol. Lots of alcohol. But you're the chosen one, the designated driver. And so you choose to only have one drink. Okay, two drinks. Fumble for your keys, trying to fit the key into the ignition, but having a little bit of trouble. Your head is spinning, but you finally get the car started and you're on your way. Your parents are wondering where you are, so you go a little faster than normal. 55 miles per hour. You soon realize the car you thought was five miles ahead is now five feet ahead, and it all of a sudden stops. Let's say that a collision is inevitable and you collide with a stopped car in front of you, still maintaining a speed of 55 miles per hour. It is important to realize that not only is your car moving at 55 miles per hour, but so are you. Once your car rams into the back of the stopped car ahead, your car is brought to a stop. But what about you? According to Newton's first law of motion, an object at rest remains at rest and an object in motion remains in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In this case, the unbalanced force that brought your car to a stop was a stopped car. However, nothing has stopped you and so you will continue at 55 miles per hour until you too are stopped by a force, usually when you impale yourself in the steering wheel column and your head slams into the windshield. <laughs> 